BBC News. This is BBC News and these are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. President Zelensky of Ukraine says his country has shielded Europe from Russia for eight years and will continue to defend itself with or without help from its partners. So now that the world is talking about the threat of a big war, it begs the question, is there anything left to pick up? The security architecture of Europe and beyond is almost destroyed. It's too late now to talk about fixing it. It's high time for a new one. But as reports emerge of shelling in eastern Ukraine, Western leaders issue new warnings about the consequences of any Russian invasion. If Russia further invades Ukraine, the United States, together with our allies and partners, will impose significant and unprecedented economic costs. Meanwhile, President Putin is overseeing military drills during which Russia said it launched advanced hypersonic missiles. Twelve people have been killed as Storm Eunice left a trail of destruction across Europe. Deaths were reported in the Netherlands, Belgium, Britain, Ireland and Poland. I'm Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. Tensions remain high in eastern Ukraine, where clashes have continued between government forces and Russian-backed separatists. Two Ukrainian soldiers have been killed in the latest violence. Separatists in Donetsk, also Luhansk, have ordered a full military mobilization, saying they fear they will be attacked. And this comes as Ukraine's president has said his country would protect itself from Russia with or without support from its partners. Paul Adams has the latest from Kiev. 